you are about to experience Bubble and Squeak, the explicit podcast made for adults by someone who is often terribly childish. Hi, I'm Peter Santoscano, and this is Bubble and Squeak, a podcast with uncanny sounds, funny interludes, and stories, most weird, many true. Okay, here's Season 3, Episode 7. Our show today comes in three parts. Part 1, singer-songwriter Linda J. Reed shares her creative process. Part 2, Linda sings the song Anxiety Blues. And Part 3, a sound slice from an island in the Philippines. Linda J. Reed wrote her first song on guitar when she was 17 years old. She has continued the practice for decades and has gained a faithful fan base. After hearing her song, Fallen Free, I fell hard for both the warmth and the weariness that she exudes through her voice. Every inch of her personal journey gets etched into the sound she creates. She is honest without being bitter. Right before she moved from New York City to California in the midst of a mountain of moving boxes, Linda took some time out to tell me about her music. That's, the world has what's to go the away. name of that song? That song is Anxiety Blues. And um, how is it similar and different to other songs you've written? Well, first of all, it's my first 12 bar blues and i've tried other 12 bar blues and i've actually written them but they're eh, you know not really the real thing so they're not really genuine you can't really listen to it and say ah that's a 12 that's a real blues song and this one um i believe is the real thing where you just listen to it and go oh it's a blues song and it sounds like a blues song and it's a good one my mother Oh, she loves the blues. She's very well acquainted with it. And she loved the song right off the bat. My mom's no dummy when it comes to music. And she was just Mm. like, that's an amazing blues song. I love it. And it's funny. Started laughing. And I said, okay, well, that's a good start. Mom approved. Stamped. Somehow, I never lose my sense of humor. So this time, I decided to put it into the song. So it wouldn't be just dreary and, you know, like a blues song is dreary. But I wanted to make a humorous kind of blues song because I didn't want it to be, like, so depressing. Because I was so depressed. My relationships to the words are that that's my brain. It's very intimate. Like, my relationship to the words in the song are that... That's how I feel often. All of the words relate to how I feel when I'm anxious Mm. and having an anxiety attack and all of that. And when I'm at my lowest and stuff, I just, those are, you know, and, uh, but even at my lowest, I think I never kind of lose my sense of humor. Mm Mm-hmm. My process always is to pick up my guitar. And whatever I do, I pick up my guitar and I tune it first. And what I do is pick up my guitar and think about, you know, it depends on what's been going on in my life, you know. It could be happy, it could be I'm in love, it could be... There are many things through the years that I found to write songs about. It could be I'm totally depressed or I'm angry, or whatever. Well, this one, a lot of stress came out. So whatever happens, like today, I'm I'm feeling, you know, like, kind of uptight and, like, non-trusting. So I might just go, uh... I don't know. Just to 
Something like that, you know? So it's like... <laughs> whatever it is, you know? So that particular song, that particular time, I was just, like, playing around with something I always do, which is... I did a lot. But this time it stuck. I just, like... What can I do? You know, what kind of words can I put in there? And the words that came out were just what was going on at the time. I had a ton of stress going on at the time. I I got, you know, like, arthritis in my feet, and it progressed so quickly that, like, one month I'm in sneakers, a couple months later I'm, like, crawling down the street, like, two miles an hour, and everybody's looking at me like, what are you doing and running into me? Because it's New York City, and I'm getting pissed, like, what the hell, I can't tell you, like an old, you know, an old fogey, you know? But, like, so, I just, a lot of stuff was going on, and I was just so full of anxiety. I purposefully played it intensely, the guitar, because... I was very anxious, stressed out, and angry, frankly. Mm -hmm. Somebody that I totally trusted with my life turned against me. Mm. And because of who I am, essentially, and it hurt me to the core, so that was another thing on my mind. And um, But the humor I put in there, um, on purpose. Mm -hmm. So I guess that works kind of on purpose, but I can't say I did it consciously because I don't really think about writing a song. Mm. You know, I just write it. Play a little song for you that you might understand. It's the kind of blues that's got the upper hand. Don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna die Take a pound and so damn fast Oh lordy, why, oh why Well now I need to get a grip This just ain't my sort of trip Oh my, oh my mm. huh. Well now the sort of blues is way out of control Maybe it's a heart attack, can't seem to get a hold If I ask one single thing, bring back my adult brain It's gone out of town, it's driving me insane Well now I'm racing off the track, I just gotta get it back It's a goddamn shame Listen to my song Send me free by damn mm. It's all gone wrong Don't know who I am Oh yeah Yeah Try. Huh. Oh, 
oh my, oh my. Well, my stage name is Linda, J-A-Y, Reed, R-E-E-D. Look me up on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. I'm there. Let me set the scene for you. I'm on the shore of Pandan Island with my husband, Glenn. We're in the Philippines. Pandan Island is a short boat ride from the city of Sablayan. This was the beginning of a five-week trip to see some islands and some of my Auntie Rolia's family. But first, we stopped on an island, surrounded by a coral reef and teeming with sea turtles. As I stood on the shore, a small shark swam near. It looked so playful, I had to go snorkeling around the island again. Bubble & Squeak is written and produced by me, Peter Santoscano. I mostly make the show for me and fellow artists like Linda J. Reed. You can find Linda's music on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, and Amazon Music, which actually pays independent artists better than the other services. Just search for Linda J. Reed. The Bubble & Squeak theme song is Worthless by the Jelly Rocks from the album Bang & Whimper. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to music. To find more great music and new podcasts, visit rockcandyrecordings.com. Feel free to say hi to me on X, <laughs> so silly, at P2Sun, the letter P, the number 2, S-O-N, at P2Sun. Or just say hi when you see me walking around Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Oh, and thanks for listening. For more shows like this one, visit rockcandyrecordings.com.